What's really good guys, my name is Sumed Chatterjee from the Flow Zone Academy and I'm a flow state coach which means that I help you feel better and perform better. Today I want to talk to you about transforming your anger into compassion. So I had a quote a little while ago, I was reminded again by Kevin, thank you Kevin. Encourage the rage so that it becomes courage instead of rage. Now, if you want to put that on a bumper sticker or if you're watching this video right now and you're like, hey, I listen to this YouTube guy, his name is Sumed, you know, when you print screen this and you post it on your social media, you have a chance at winning an Amazon gift card. Or if you want to put it in the back of a bumper sticker, hey, at least give me credit for it, okay? Encourage the rage. Rage has its own way of doing things. But it's only if we change our relationship with rage, our relationship with anger, by not doing things in the heat of the moment, we call it the heat of the moment, because it's warm, it's hot. This is where we get words like burnouts coming from. Right? Fuel, exhaustion. The fuel can cause a fire or an explosion, or that fuel can get you to where you need to go in the vehicle, which is the body, to get you to where you need to go. So are you overstressing yourself out? Are you afraid of something? And that fear is the real emotion, but anger is covering it like a shell. You want to get fully present with what that rage is actually doing, because a lot of rage you know what a lot of rage is? It's simply that you're not being able to set boundaries. That's what a lot of rage is. So, there's something called skillful compassion. So what you can do, follow along with me. We'll do a quick version, but normally this extends into a lot of minutes of deep, profound insight into the internal world, which is a scary place to dive in. So having a guide is nice at times. Okay, so close your eyes and just feel what you feel inside your body right now. Feel any tension. Notice your breath. Feel the weight of you on the seat or wherever you are, the feet hitting the floor. Wherever you are, just feel the, the weight in your body right now. And now I want you to think and visualize an image of the person that has upset you, of the person that has made you angry. Okay? How have they made you angry? Think about that. What line have they crossed? What was miscommunicated? Think about it. Just think about it. And you might feel tension coming up. Just notice your breathing at this time. Notice what your body wants to do at this time. Maybe you want to click off this recording and go to another video. Whatever it is, the resistance that you feel, just observe it. That's okay for you to feel that way. It's completely valid. It's not my emotions, it's your emotions. But now all we're doing is we're being like a bit of a detective of the internal world and we're saying, what is going on here? What is going on here? What is happening? So now, as you inhale, I want you to visualize you taking that person's suffering, pain, frustration, whatever they're going through. Maybe they're struggling to get by. Maybe they're having negative thoughts. Anything that they're going through, they're suffering. Take, the, take on their suffering through your breath as you inhale. And as you exhale, I want you to imagine you giving them and transforming that suffering into light, into compassion, into healing, into compliments, into compassion towards them. Okay? So here we go. Inhale. Take all of it. Take the suffering and exhale. Send it out into them, into their world. Okay? Let's do it one more time. Inhale. Take on their suffering feel it, hold it, 
and just send it out to them. Like a drill. Send it out to them like a drill. I did not expect that drill to be here, okay? That's funny, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, so... Once we truly embody what's going on here, this compassion, your body feels different. And that same breathing pattern that you noticed, you might feel a residue of it, but your relationship to the anger in that person has changed. Because you've now seen things from a different perspective. So the lesson from this video, which is a very important lesson, and an easy lesson to remember, is that you cannot get rid of your thoughts. All you can do is change your relationship to your thoughts. You cannot get rid of your thoughts, you can only change your relationship to your thoughts. So let's say your thoughts are like clouds in the sky. Maybe earlier you wanted to judge those thoughts. You want it to be like that cloud is shaped like a mushroom. That cloud is shaped like a parrot. That cloud is shaped like uh, my old long lost grandmother. Whatever it is, right? Your own interpretations of what those clouds look like. You're adding labels, you're categorizing your left braining a right brain experience. But that's what we do. So to feeling the feelings, we think about feeling the feelings. We think about the feelings instead of feeling. So with those clouds, I simply want you to observe them without judgment. They're just clouds. They might be different shapes. They might remind you of different things and different triggers and different traumas and things like that. But at the end of the day, you're just observing them. Now you want, might want to follow certain clouds in the sky to notice like, okay, this cloud is going to go over there. Let me just see what it's up to. I'm just kind of curious, you know. I wonder what that cloud is up to. But then again, once you change your relationship to it and you become the observer again, you stand from a position of power, of personal power, of neutrality. And you don't allow your mind to go here and there, but you come back to the present moment, here and now, from the zero position. And the zero position is where you can create the most, where you have that potential potency. So, once you come back to this present moment, in this pure awareness state, you can simply notice how that shifts your relationship to things. That state of mind, that state change of you being much more present, has actually changed the experiences that you're having now. Now, as you look at that cloud, it's no more that awfully shaped cloud anymore, but it's a fluffy, pretty awesome cloud that you can actually rely on and depend on, okay? So this is what we want to practice doing, okay? We want the compassion to come through. And that's difficult at times, especially when we feel anger, because anger is very constricting. It's not expansive, right? It's constricting and explosive. So. When we become angry, we've got to ask ourselves, who are we harming, harming more? Us thinking about that person, or are we actually harming ourselves as a byproduct? The real answer is we're harming ourselves. Because if you hold on a hot coal, what are you doing? You're burning yourself. That's what it's like. But once you recognize that, and you take the leverage, the power over the anger, and you say, you know what? I'm just going to change my point of view. My point of reference to this anger. And I'm going to breathe compassion into it. I'm going to see this other person and what they're going through and why they're angry. Why are they angry? Why did they react that way that they did? They're clearly in pain. They're clearly in suffering. They're dealing with something. So they're showing it through anger. They're so showing it through hatred. But there's something deeper going on here. When you can understand that process, you understand yourself. And you understand the way you can regulate your emotions a lot better. So I hope this video helped you out today. Have an amazing day. May the flow be with you. And stay legendary. See you guys next time.